So, I'll take things I never thought would happen for a thousand, Alex. That's right, Comic Universe, you read that title right. James Gunn has been hi rehired to direct Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Holy shit. Holy shit, guys. Did anyone think that was gonna happen? Did anyone actually think, after what, a year, a little over a year of um, everyone saying, you know, after James Gunn got fired, and then they were looking for a new director, Takai Watiti didn't want to do it, um, because he said that was James Gunn movie, and then there was even talk of if there is going to be a Guardians 3 movie, um, so yeah, there was, and even they were going to use James Gunn's script, but James Gunn wasn't going to be directing, it was really hard to say of what was going to happen after this whole controversy of James Gunn getting fired by Disney after those tweets. And let me say right now that those tweets were not cool. I understand that he, James Gunn, as a, you know, as a person, has a dark sense of humor. Uh, but those tweets uh, were very early in his career, like very, very early in his career. And he actually, like, he even said, I believe, like, at some point he said, yeah, those were really shitty. Like, those were some really shitty comments I made, and I really feel bad about it. But on the other, like, I understand, like, not everyone gets your sense of humor, James. Um, I've seen not just your Guardian stuff, but, like, your, when you did Slither, and also the dark humor you had in Scooby-Doo. So, like, it's par for the course that he would make some very, you know, tasteless jokes. But, like, he at least he understood that what he did was wrong. Like... He understood what he did was wrong and wasn't going to fight it. That was the thing, is that he... he oh, I will give Gunn this, is that he openly said that, hey, it, you know, I thought this was on me. So I will give him points for realizing he's owning up to his fuck-up. I will give him that, but that still wasn't cool. So, and I know some people are already mad that, you know, Gunn is back, but there's actually a vast majority who are actually very happy that James Gunn came back. And honestly, I think the only reason why Disney hired him back was because they couldn't, they, honest to God, couldn't find anybody for, to direct Guardians 3 in his stead. I have a strong feeling they went to Takai, uh, and I, I know I'm butchering his name, but the director for Thor Ragnarok. I know for a fact, they probably, uh, well, I don't know for a fact, but I've got like a 90%, um, I'm 90% sure they went to him to direct Guardians 3, but he was like, no, not after the shit storm that threw up. And it, it, the thing is, is that no one was going to be happy. Let's be honest, guys. No one was going to be happy if any if anyone but Gunn was dire it was directing Guardians Three. They were they said they were still going to use a script, but the fans were still going to be mad about it. And yes, I am full aware that those tweets he made were not okay. Uh, let me stress this again: those were not okay. Those weren't okay. But like I said, at least he knows he did he did a bad thing. And he owned up to it. He didn't try to say, like, he didn't try to defend it. Like, he was just saying, I just have a fucked up sense of humor, and I wasn't thinking when I posted them, and I'm really bad, and I feel really bad about it. So I will give him that. Now, the other question you're probably asking is, does this mean he's not going to direct Suicide Squad anymore? Is he just going to go back to Guardians? Well, that's the thing. He will, apparently, as far as we know, and as far as been said, he will stay on for the sec for Suicide Squad 2. That is right. For, as far as we know, he is still staying on for Suicide Squad 2. Um, that still is going to happen, I guess, because the con he's still contracted to do it. Um, so, yeah, I feel like that was the thing, is that he is going to direct that movie and then bounce back to Marvel. Um, so, as far as we know, but he could easily go, nah, fuck this, I'm out. But I think he's already, like, committed into doing Suicide Squad. So, I think that, uh, I think at this point he is going to stay on and then bounce back to Marvel. Can we just admit that this whole situation is just fucking weird? Can we all just admit that to ourselves at this point? Can we all just take a step back and go, this whole James Gunn situation has just been a fucking ride? Can we just admit that to ourselves? Because he gets he gets kicked off of Guardians of the Galaxy 3 for, you know, 
I mean, yeah, those cleats are old, but they still, you know, those are going to, uh, what you know, your past is going to come back to haunt you. And then he goes to direct, uh, he goes to Warner Brothers, who let him do Brightburn, which is, you know, horror Superman, and have him direct the second Suicide Squad movie, which is a movie the first one was trying to be Guardians of the Galaxy. And now he is coming back to do Guardians of the Galaxy 3, the movie that started this whole uh, shit storm in the, in the first place. Can we just, like... Stop for a moment and just go, this whole experience has been weird. The only thing that would make it weirder is if he did, if there was a Suicide Squad 3 and he came back to do that too and then bounced back to Marvel again. Anyway, so that's the thing. The other thing um, that's been really interesting is that, you know, Disney, you know, the cast, I think the other thing was that the cast was very against anyone but Gunn doing these movies because you can clearly see that the whole cast of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3 was very much like a family. They were very much like a, you know, the cast was a very tight-knit group um, at that point. Like, they were very, you know, a lot of them were very upset. Like, of course, um, uh, Dave Bautista was a very vocal about how he would leave if they at least didn't, you know, he would leave the film if they did not use James Gunn's script. So it's very, you know, it's very interesting that the cat, you know, this is one of those few times where the very cast is against the company. But again, I feel like if they could actually, if D if Disney could find somebody, they wouldn't try to rehire him. So I feel like they were like, um, well, we can't find anybody else and no one is going to be happy. And, you know, the almighty dollar says a lot. You know, that's all I'm saying is that the almighty dollar says a lot in this situation. So, I think they, you know, decide to rehire him. Um, but, you know, what does this say? You know, on the other end of, of this, art, on the other edge of this uh, two-edged sword, is that on one end of the spectrum is that, what do you, you know, what about the people, you know, what is Disney telling the people who James Gunn made a joke to? You know, what does this say to the people that, you know, who wanted him gone? You know, who made, you know, who were affected by those jokes? Or, you know, those jokes he made of people, you know, from the, you know, from religious people to, you know, p women who were sexually assaulted. You know, what does, the, what is Disney saying to those people about the jokes James Gunn made? You know, what does that tell them? Does that, does that mean they don't matter? Are you basic, is Disney telegraphing that you don't matter because we hired the guy who made those very tasteless jokes at your expense? It's very... And again, I understand that he, he's sorry for it, but at the same time, you still gotta, own, you know, you, and I'm glad you're owning it, you know, don't, you know, Jay, you know, Gunn, I'm glad you're owning up to the fact that you, you fucked up and not trying to find a fucking scapegoat, you know, good on you for that. But the fact is, you still did it. You did it and you didn't think about um, how this was going to affect those people. You said those tweets and you didn't think about what was the thought process for those women and those people. Um, in those tweets. You just did it to get a laugh. And you could say all, you're sorry all you want, but at the same time, it's at the end of the day, it's still on you. I don't know. This is a very slippery slope here, guys. And I and we and we try on universe just to do, com, you know, just to do comic-centric videos. That's kind of why you're not going to see a lot of Zilla's world anymore because it was kind of a failed project. Um uh but that's neither here nor there. But getting back to this is that, on one hand, it's cool that Gunn gets to finish his trilogy, and on top of that, he's one of the few directors who gets to work for Marvel and DC, but at the same time, you know, what does this say about um, Disney treating, you know, it, I know Disney's a business for, you know, first and foremost, but at the same time, it's like, um, what do you do when... Uh, you know, what do you do when you have those people who made those arguments for what Gunn said in those tweets, and how do you go about that? Because this is, this is going to be a lose, this is like a lose-lose situation no matter what happens, because now that Disney has rehired him to do Guardians 3, those people are going to come back and say, like, what was, you know, did nothing we say matter? Did, did our, you know, do our, you know... Uh, the things that happened to us and what he said about our problems not matter. So it's really hard to say. It is really, you know, it's this is a, it, this is going to be a shit show no matter what happens. Am I interested in Gunn coming back for Guardians 3? 
Admittedly, yes. It'd be, you know, Gunn clearly has a vision for Guardians of the Galaxy, and if it were not for him, Guardians of the Galaxy would have just been totally fucking forgotten. Let's be real. If it wasn't for Gunn's, you know, vision and love for the two movies, and how he treated them in Infinity War, there would probably not be, you know, as much love as there would be for those characters who, when Guardians was announced, no one fucking cared about Guardians of the Galaxy getting a movie. But yet, here we are, and people are now, like, fighting for this. So, again, it's really difficult to say. And guys, I really don't have an answer. I honestly do not have the right answer. Because I just feel like this is a Kobayashi Maru's kind of situation. In that, it... This situation is like a no-win scenario. I don't know. So you guys tell us here at Comic Universe. What do you guys think of James Gunn being rehired for Guardians of the Galaxy 3? Do you guys... Are you guys okay with it? Are you guys not? Um, just comment below let us know, because this is, like I said, this is going to be an interesting topic. So, once again, uh, just comment below, let us know, like, share, and subscribe our videos. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.